what do you think we're going to do on this back to side sideburns and the nape? Skin taper, yeah. So generally speaking with calves hair, we've been leaving it like, you know, finger tight cross brow to the sides. Then we do a nice taper in here and a nice taper in here. Yeah? Exactly. So again, I want to section off the, bot the top first, bro. The reason is because I don't know if I want to cut that at all. Yeah? If I wanted to potentially cut the top with the sides, I do a very first section. More round, but definitely there's some serious excess length there in the middle. So as we know, standard diamond section, which runs all the way till the apex. Okay, basically all this section is doing is eliminating the frontal lobe, that's it, nothing else, okay? Just a round area towards the front of the head. As soon as we get to the highest point of the head, in the middle, okay, we can see that that is where our section finishes. All we've done here on the top, nice little box section in there, if anyone can see that. Okay. And then just behind that guys what we've done is sectioned everything from the exhibit till we see here at the top. Everyone can see that? Yeah. And sectioned it off just round to the sides here. All I'm doing here basically is all of my sections are coming vertically through like this. Look. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. And all they're doing each time is going back to previous to the top before they get cut. Alright? And on the bottom, they're getting elevated and cut on the base. Waiting. Square cutting line, my fingers aren't even coming away from the head. Just the guide. And then we simply elevate everything beneath it on the bottom. There, it's a big difference when we're working like this. Right? The sections, when they're getting over directed, you need to be even more careful because when the sections are vertical, if you start bringing your sections down and over directing them horizontally, they're in trouble. Right? You're gonna build way too much weight. When they still need, they just need to be over directed vertically. So I'm pulling it back that way as opposed to that way. Okay, it's a big difference. straight line now. Body parallel to the section, bring it straight on down, right to my guide, there it is, bevel it on out, I'll see the guide there. Okay. Over directing everything right back to the middle guys, make sure the line nice and straight. All right, now next at the section, we will be rounding this off in terms of the layer that we're using, but we want the baseline of this to be nice and square. Okay, now. Okay, we've got a lot more going on now, isn't it, by that slight little movement. Last two sections, before we pass it on over to Studio 2. <laughs> in any corner that we have in place. Same thing, with each incision, we want to move up and remove the corner. Okay, fine side of the comb, working everything on up towards the ceiling. Lose a little, pick up a little, working everything nice and round. Right. 
last little bit. Again, not jumping the gun, really implementing that nice round shape. Once we get to the top, and only when we get to the top, that's when we come purely out from the head. below that with the transition, one open, one close, 0 0.5 from zero. Transition, straight in, just beneath the two. So transition, one open now, yeah, just beneath the transition. So if we look there, the transition, there's the one open. Okay, it's falling out now, isn't it? One beneath that, so there's the one open, right? One open, one beneath that. Zero point five. All right, so all I've done here, though, is just went down through every single guard. Zero point five. And lastly, zero. everything out from the base and again all I'm doing as a reference for my guide is just following the shape of the head all right that's my guide to the top following the shape of the head lose a little bit pick up a little bit keeping everything guys nice and round 